Hello friends, welcome to Digital Internet YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about a mobile CRM solution called Previer. The mobile app of Previer helps you store all your clients' data, store those leads and follow with those leads, uh, send them customized messages as well as files, uh, reach out to them via WhatsApp, email, email, etc. all inside the mobile app. Now, in this video, I'm going to talk about one of the powerful features of Previer called as Automating Lead Distribution. Now, if you're actively generating leads for your business, maybe you are using Google Ads, Facebook Ads, Instagram Ads, or maybe your websites could be generating leads for you. Now, you need to manually check those leads and then assign it to the right sales team person, right? And now, if you could automate this process, now the leads are coming from Google Ads, it's going to the right uh, team member. Now, leads are coming from Facebook Ads, it's going to the right team person. You could automate this lead distribution process using Previer. Now, this is what this video is going to be about. I'm in simple few steps, I'm going to show you how you could automate your lead distribution. Now let's go to the laptop screen and see. The first step is to visit Previer.com. The link is already available in the description. I will also give a link to the application, mobile application that you can check. Uh, now, once you're here, you need to create your account. It only takes 30 seconds of your time uh, and they have lifestyle free account that you can create and get started right away. So once you create your account, this is how the dashboard will look like of Previer. Now, there are of the main four tabs, clients, content, team, and integration. The tab we are going to focus is integration because we are talking about automatic lead distribution. But let me give you a quick overview of what clients, content, teams are. So clients is basically uh, you get all, you store all type of your client details uh, in this tab. Uh, you can also uh, see which client you want to follow up. You can see which client open your file that you send to deep or other, uh, what type of new leads are available all those things can be tracked in clients now in the content section uh, this is like your assets or uh, type of media files you can store uh, pdf files you can store you can create your own landing page of your services or event and share that that you can share with your clients and you can also create your own customized messages that you do not need to repeat or type again and again. Uh, so all those things can be done in the content type. In the team, basically, as the, uh, as the tab says, uh, you add new team members uh, in this section. You can also assign leads to them automatically. But this is again a paid option that we are talking about free lead distribution. Uh, and also this is limited to only Facebook leads. Uh, if you are sourcing your leads from Facebook, then you can use this. But we are talking about sourcing if your lead sources anything like type form google form and anything then you can use the option that we are talking about that is integration so now in the integration part uh, what you have to do is you need to click on lead sources now from here you need to configure the type of lead sources that are you are using right maybe you are using google ads to get your leads to generate your leads maybe you are using linkedin maybe you are using wordpress websites to get your leads now there are many other things that you can check out but if any of the lead sources that you are using is not available here you can use uh, web books and you can just configure any of the lead sources that you are using to be private and it it will fetch those leads into private CRM right uh, so to show you an example I'm going to use Typeform because most of my leads are coming from Typeform right uh, so first I will go I will click on the configure section Now we are adding name in, name, give a name to my form, it will be lead generation. So this is my form name, but your would be different. Now I need to follow these instructions, right? I need to go to uh, the lead, uh, lead of lead form that I've created in my type form. Then I need to click on web book, then I need to add a web book, and then, it, and then I need to paste this one. So let me show you how to do that. Now let me show you. So as you can see that uh, these are the type forms that I have created. Now you need to choose any of your forms that you are using to actively using to generate leads. So suppose I am using this form. Uh, suppose I am using this form to generate leads, right? So what I have to do is click on this form. And then I need to head over to the correct. Then I need to head over to the webhooks. Then I need to click on add a webhook 
and here I need to paste this link and I need to click on save web move so as you can see the Bribeer account has already connected now all I need to do is click on on so all the units are, that are going to get submitted from this form is going to automatically get updated in the previous CRM, right? Uh, so that's the step that you need to collect and then that you need to check. Now let us try, you know, try sending a sample uh, test form, right? Let's send, say, a uh, test request, right? So as you can see, we have sent a test request. Now let us see if it is updated in our private account or not. So I already got notification on my mobile phone, but let me show you all of the client section. So we'll see this list in the all client. You can see this. This is the new lead that we just sent. Uh, this was just, just a sample test by the way, but a real person will also submit that form that will get updated quite You can also see this lead in the new form section. So that's how you configure your type form but you can also configure for other things like LinkedIn, Facebook, etc. Now, once we have configured our lead sources, now the next step is to click on edit rules. And from here, you can see that I already created one, uh, one rule of type 4, but I will show you how you can create a new rule. Uh, so I just click on add new rule. And from here, you need to select the type of lead source that you want to connect. I will choose type form, but you can also choose all leads. So once, once I will choose the type form, again, if you have one figure for Facebook ads, Google ads, you will see all those options over here, by the way. I'm not seeing it here because I'm not configured it for myself. But if you have configured, you will see that, that you can connect it, right? And now here you need to add email IDs of the people that you want to send your leads to, right? Automatic distribution, that is what we're talking about, right? So if we get distributed automatically, whenever someone submits a type form lead, this is going to get distributed to the emails that I'm going to add right now. So let me add an email of the person. These are just the sample leads. You can add a hazmic email receipt that you want. We do not need to have any of all the private, by the way. If you get notified about new leads via that email ID that you are submitting over here. Now the one option that I would like to show you is advanced setting. So here, near the game begins, right? So broadcast mode and round robin distribution. These are the two options that you have. So broadcast mode basically what? So whenever a new lead is submitted, uh, it will get distributed to all the recipients that you added. So in my case, I've added these two emails. So if I use my broadcast mode, so all the leads will be distributed to both of them. Copy of that link will be distributed to both of them. But sometimes we need to avoid that because maybe both we start working on the lead. So I will really want both of them to contact the same lead. So for that we can use raw robin distribution. So what it does it we can decide how many leads should go to the to one person, right? So suppose I want three leads to go to this email ID and two leads to go to this email ID. So all these leads will be unique. And this so each salesperson will get a new lead that is not being shared with another sales person team, right? So that we avoid that a safe person is contacting, two people are contacting the same person. So to avoid that, we use around the dropping distribution, right? So once you do that, all you need to do is click done. And you need to create a, uh, create a rule. Well, wow. fair thing. So that's it. So yeah. So let me show you a live demo, how it works. So suppose a person completes a lead, right? Let me add my email ID first. Suppose the person is completing one form. Just typing in a sample lead. That's it. So the lead is submitted, right? So this will get notified to the recipient that I have added. Let us see if it get notified or not. So as you see, uh, the lead is uh, lead got distributed to the first person with the email, right? Congress, you have received the new lead from Vibo. So yeah, that's how you distribute your leads among salespeople, right? Hope you got the idea.
So that was all about Primeer and how you can use it to automatically distribute your leads across your sales, mem sales team members. Now, if you have any doubt regarding this topic, comment down below. I'll make sure to solve all your queries. Use the link in the description. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video.